Hello, how are you? Um, today, I want to show you how to use highlighting drops in lots of different ways. I'm going to use these little long con ones, but you can use whichever drops you've got. So if you want to work along with me, go and grab your drops, your moisturiser, um, in particular, whatever you use on your base, and we could just do it all together. So, um, Highlighting drops, these seem to have come up a lot in conversation for me this week, so I just thought I'd do a little how-to on them. I think they're really great to have if you're really happy with your makeup, but every now and again you want a bit more glow, or every now and again you want something to perk you up when you're feeling a bit tired. Um, lots of different brands do them, so I just thought I'd show you a few different ways you can use them. So one of the first ones, whether you're putting this under your makeup or you're just having a no makeup day, is mixed into your moisturiser. I'm going to start with a little bit of the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Um, I'm not sure if I've actually properly mentioned this before. I'm going to take about this much. But that is one of my favourite moisturisers that I always recommend to people because it's a very universal moisturiser, I'd say. I've not really met anyone that doesn't get on with it. Um, Kiehl's in general is just always a very trustworthy brand. Um, and that one, actually, while I've got it here, that's a charity version of that part. And every, Kiehl's are really good for lovely charitable initiatives, actually. This one says, helping to eliminate LGBT plus bullying in UK schools. So always worth having a look at um, what Kiehl's are up to. Now, I've got about this much moisturiser on. I'm going to just put a little, hang on, a little pump. That's quite a lot, actually, to be fair. I might take some of this off and put it over here on my hand to use at a later point. What I would do on a day when you just want a little bit more glow is mix it in the back of your hand and work this all over. Now, the reason I've chosen those long con ones to show you is that they're not super, super metallic. I've got a metallic drops to hand to show you at another point. But if you want something super soft that you're not going to get wrong, then the long con ones just offer a nice bit of radiance that doesn't look glittery all over your face. Now, if you wanted to really amp up the glow, you can also mix into your foundation. I'm going to take the original CC cream from It Cosmetics because that hasn't got any um, illuminating pigment in it. And I'm just going to take the remainder of that, um, the custom drops and blend that again on the back of my hand so that it's nice and mixed in. And I'm going to go in with my CC cream and uh, my hands today. I did this the other day. Um, I think I was saying this the other day, but with your base, I think it's a really personal thing. Some people prefer to use hands. Some people prefer to use a brush. Um, I was speaking to a lovely lady, Pauline, and she said, I saw Nadine said that... Um, you know, it doesn't give you as long of a wear when you use your hands. And honestly, I was really glad I experimented with it the other day because it's absolutely spot on. The wear wasn't quite as long. But equally, if you did perhaps want a sheerer finish than usual, then the hands is often a great technique. Now, just going all over with this. It's actually so bright today, isn't it a lovely day? That I can't properly see into the mirror because it's so bright. So I'm kind of going over you there to look behind me. And I'm just going to pat a tiny bit more into the areas where I uh, am prone to getting a little bit of redness. But as you can see, again, this isn't glittery as such. It's just lifted that CC cream ever so slightly to have a little touch of radiance. Now, another thing, while we're just doing a bit of multi-use that I was thinking about is uh, I've had a few messages recently from, obviously we've all been in lockdown, people are buying complexion products online and I've had a few messages to say, Rose, I've ordered this or that and it's a bit too dark for me. What shall I do? Never underestimate that you could use it as a softer version of your bronzer. 
So I'm going to show you uh, this Max Factor Miracle Second Skin. Um, if you're following Caroline Barnes, if not, by the way, absolutely brilliant person to follow. I learned so much from watching Caroline. Um, Caroline is an ambassador for Max Factor and she has loads of different, I mean, she's got a wealth of videos and things on her YouTube channel. Um, she's actually, I'm going to quickly divert, you know, Look Good, Feel Better, the charity, they have a makeup artist competition live at the moment and the deadline is tomorrow. Um, but she's the judge and if you win, you win like a one-to-one -one with Caroline. It's all really good. I'll put a link to Look Good, Feel Better below actually so you can have a little look at their page and figure it out. But anyway, back to the darker foundation. Um, I've got the Miracle Second Skin in a deeper shade because it's a really soft, um, fresh coverage. It's very sheer. It's lovely and lightweight. So it also works. I'm just picking this up with a brush. As a very gentle alternative to a bronzer. Now, the thing with this, it actually feels quite cooling on the skin when you put it on. So it's so lovely for the summer. And basically, Caroline hosted a bit of a masterclass to tell us about it when it launched. And this was the technique she used. And look how lovely and fresh that is. So, nice option for you if you sat there with a foundation that's too dark, thinking, oh, what am I going to do with this? I mean, that doesn't look, you know, like an obvious contour or anything, but you can see there's a little bit of um, something, can't you? So, yeah, really lovely. Um, I know someone is going to ask, because I've gone in with the CC and the Miracle Second Skin. They're both quite different. I would say they're both lovely in their own way. So, this is for you if you want very sheer, very fresh. Um, you've got, let me just double check, SPF 20 in here. And you've got the likes of coconut milk um, that's really refreshing and cooling. Whereas your CC is an SPF 50, uh, really full coverage. It's going to cover everything that you need. Like for me, it's redness. Um, so both great. They both do different things. Now, let me see how much time I've got. I bought these in case I had a bit of time. Um, I'm just going to have a little play with a couple of creamy eyeshadows from Stila. I've not used these before, so perhaps a bit adventurous to use them for the first time live on a video, but here we go. It's this kind of blue colour. I've got a matte shade and a glitter. So let's have a play. I was looking through my um, IGTV videos this morning and I am very fond of like a brown and a taupe and I thought, gosh, I haven't, you know, put a bit of colour on in a very long time. So I'm just going to buff that little bit of blue out. That's nice. Funnily enough, um, <laughs> I feel like this is turning into a Caroline fan video, but here we go. Um, Caroline does Kylie Minogue's makeup a lot. And she's done her makeup for lots of the quite iconic videos and um, photo shoots and things. And one of the makeups that sticks in my head that I love, I don't know if it was Caroline, actually, I'll have to, we'll have to ask her. Um, but do you remember the Kylie Minogue Love at First Sight video and she had that very turquoise bolt? I was looking at pictures of that this morning and just thinking I need to hunt out a bit of a turquoise. Lovely summery colour. This isn't quite turquoise, but it's nice and fresh, isn't it? So as much as I would like to leave that on its own, I'm going to go in with a bit of glitter as well, because why not? Sunday morning. This is Beach Wave, it's called. I'm not sure if you've used these. Let me get the proper name for you. The Glitter and Glow um, Liquid Eyeshadows from Stila. They're fantastic. I've had them in lots of different colours. And you see, you get a bit of playtime with them. And then once they dry, that's you. Hang on, I'm going to make sure I pack this on. Because they're both creamy textures, I want to build rather than if I rub this too much, it's going to take away what I've already put on. Does that make sense? There we go. Nice little soft wash of blue. Okay. Okay. And then just to frame those eyes, lovely, 
Um, I'm going to take a little bit of this Surat. It's like a brightening eyeliner in a peachy shade. So on one hand, you've got your peachy liner that I'm going to take through the waterline. And then on the other side, you've got a brightening highlighter. So that's going to be great for the inner corners of the eyes. And I'm going to take it under the brow bone. Very, very handy for uh, if you're feeling a bit tired. Which touch wood I'm not today, but always good to have in your arsenal, isn't it? There we go. And just quickly, um, I can't remember who suggested to me to watch Grey's Anatomy. Me and my mum started watching it a um, couple of days ago and we are hooked. We're only a few episodes in, it's all on Prime. Um, so if you've not watched it, like us, highly recommend. And there's 15 series, so that's us sorted now for the rest of time. Okay. Now, just quickly, I'm going to put a tiny bit of clear gloss through my brows because I do want to get on to show you those drops as highlighter. So I'm going to whiz through everything else. I'm going to put a tiny bit of mascara on. Um, revisiting the Hourglass mascara I showed you the other day, the new one. Hang on. This goes on a bit white, but it dries clear. So there we go. Um, this mascara that I tried the other day is actually a tubing mascara. It's the Hourglass Unlocked. So I went to take it off and it came off in an instant. So if you haven't tried a tubing mascara before, the best way I can describe it, I suppose, is it's like, not that there's PVA glue in it. This is going to go horribly wrong. Think of how PVA glue is a little bit sticky and you used to put it on your hands and peel it off when you were at school it's kind of the equivalent of that as a mascara so it literally just peels off in these weird little squiggly clumps but it means that you can remove it just with water so you know how traditional mascara you've got these black smushes all around your eyes it's not like that at all oh gosh I'll sort that in a moment I've just gone completely against my own rule of wait till it's dry before you go anywhere near it so that'll teach me but anyway um very very easy to remove so for that reason i will absolutely be making a beeline for this one again there we go now two minutes left um let's go really simple on the lips I'm going in with a little MAC Lip Gloss in Snow Petal. Just get those ticked off and done. Absolutely love any lip product from MAC really, but the glosses are especially lovely. And then, okay, I'm going to tidy up under that eye. And it looks like I have to tidy up under this one. That went well. And then with your drops, so the long con ones were nice and soft for an all over sheen. If you wanted like a mega watt glow, I'm going to show you these Becca Glow Silk Highlighter Drops, but lots of different brands do these. Now this one is slightly different because you can instantly see a very high shimmer finish. So this is where you could use your drops as a standalone highlighter along the cheeks. You could have gone along that brow bone. I've used the liner on those. I'm going to take a tiny bit up here to just give a little bit of bounce to the skin there. You could even take a little bit up in these temples, but my... Um, my texture isn't ideal for doing that today. And a tiny bit on the cupid's bow. But the long story short is, mix them into everything and they'll just give you a bit more luminosity. But that's my 15 minutes up, so have a lovely day and I'll be speaking to you soon.